I didn't, I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss anything. No, that was that last match was a nail biter. That was like a really good show on out of stick, man. He like he really took it to Alakai. So sorry, Alakai. Bias commentary all the time. I've gotten better at running the tournaments. I like I like to pretend. I like to pretend. All right, with that, Mr. Hunk rocking the the OP. The OP! Abigail, so tall that your jumping combos don't even work. <laughs> Muckfist starts the, uh, the long, arduous battle of fighting back. That time the jumping combo worked. But a bad demon flip out of Nuckfist lets uh, Mr. Honk start up his offense. But then they, uh, I guess they just go back to being full screen away, because, you know, why not? Who would an anti air, though, out of that demon? Force? That same jab is godlike as an anti air. Ooh, tries to do a command grab, but a little bit too far away. And that puts uh, Netfist in quite the position into jump back air fireball. Able to, uh, able to close out the round. Not, uh, Mr. Hong trying to do something, trying to close out something. But man, Mr. Hunk is on top of those anti ears. Duck Fist starts to put on his fireball game to keep Mr. Hunk away. Ooh, good jump in from Mr. Hunk leads to a decent amount of damage into a crush counter. And Duck Fist is looking like he might be in a little bit of trouble. But ooh, good anti air out of him. He restarts his offense. No, Inji just backing up, probably expecting a critical art, but no, Mr. Hunk not obliging. Ooh, great! Another good jump in from uh, Mr. Hunk, but not able to get that combo. As Nuckus is really afraid of that, of that wake up critical art. Mr. Hunk not wanting to spend it. And then great use of the armor to armor through that uh, fireball and to get the anti air to take round two. Ooh, another good anti air out of Mr. Hawk. He's really protecting those guys. Shutting down a ton of Nut Fist's game. Now he's got Nut Fist in the corner. Even though those things are trained, they're in Mr. Hawk's favor. Working on that stun, and the jabs into overhead, and that's gonna do it. That's gonna close it out. No, no need to even spin any meter. As Mr. Honk takes game one. Abigail wins. Round one. Go into game two. Uh, the game starts out a little bit slower. This time, Nuckfist getting the better of these uh, exchanges and getting the jump in on Nuckfist, or not Nuckfist, uh, Mr. Hong not able to lose on those anti-airs he was so good about earlier. And he's working on a substantial lead, but then a combo drop, probably dropping a medium kick in there. Mr. Hunk able to work something out of it. Oh, no hit confirm off of that, uh, crouching light kick. Again, no hit confirm. I would, I would like to see a little bit. As now his anti are getting in there. Ooh, misjudged that spacing. And there's a hit confirm. Oh, tries the armor through, armor through the fireball, and tries to parry those fireballs, but no good. No good as Nutfish takes advantage, gets his combos going, and round takes two. round one. I would say that that was a good danny air out of Nutfish, but spending a bar to give literally 10 damage is not worth it in my opinion. I would take that trade every day as this punk. Mr. Honk's starting to get his hit confirmed in there, putting the pressure on Nutfist. Nutfist is starting to get his fireball game on. But the hit confirms out of Mr. Honk seems to be too strong, getting a lot of damage in there. Although the life leads are, life's uh, totals are pretty similar. 
Or then. Start and then. V trigger pressure. The V trigger pressure that lasts literally the whole match. It is actually 60 seconds of V triggerness. But Nutfist not afraid. Getting some combos in of his own. Into guard crush. But not, or Mr. Honk not getting any guard crushes. Guard crush combos. Now he's sitting on the ropes with a little bit of life left and no v trigger left to spare. Spends it all doing those guard crushes, getting nothing out of him. He's gonna have to win this one as honestly as Abigail can win it as he jumps right over the fireball. Putting Nuckus really close to losing it. I kinda expected the critical art on that on that air fireball. I'd say I expected some sort of fireball uh, critical art coming somewhere. He's sitting on number five. Or do they know? Oh no! Why, Nuckfist? Why did you walk forward there? Walks right into the EX Abigail punches. If Mr. Hong's able to steal the rounds. Ugh. Putting himself on match point. Nuckfist not having any of this though. Starting to get that meaty pressure in there, but then, ooh, good parry out of Mr. Hong, and he turns the pressure back, but then messes up his meaty timing. And gets DP. There we go. There's some meeting timing in there. Crush countering Nuckfist, sending him to the corner. Oh man, into anti air, into command grab. Nuckfist looking like he's in trouble. He's in so much trouble that he's actually lost. Because Mr. Onk takes game two and the Abigail match. Wins. Game two and the match. Clinton it over Nuckfist. I know what you mean, um, Wreck and Shrubs, like. It's go time. Whew. Good stuff. So we got winner's final. Alright, y'all motherfuckers need 